Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Futures are definitely uh, ticking down this morning. So uh, I talked about that range from this morning from about the lows here around 39.15 to the highs of around 39, you know, 31, really 39.35. Uh, we were rallying nicely off of those and then things have just tipped over pretty significantly in the last uh, really since about 7.50, 8 o'clock this morning. So in the last hour and a half, uh, we've sold off almost 30 points on S&P. So uh, definitely going to have a, a week open today. There's a good handful of stocks down, uh, so we'll keep an eye on where things are. Uh, but uh, we're definitely going to open lower on on most everything. So we're going to see a pretty red board, I think, across the way, except for QS, which is rocking and rolling. So QS is going to be up big today. Uh, we may see a few other uh, stocks, but uh, we're going to get uh, some pressure on the wheel trades today. So knew it would come at some point. So we'll keep an eye on if we have to roll some out a week, we will. And uh if not, we'll get assigned on a few, and we'll actually be able to do some wheeling here. If we can wheel through a downturn, we just hold and, and let her let her fly. I've got some other things I want to take a look at. We will still do a zero DTE, I think, this morning. Uh, even though we're going to open pretty red, uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Expected move on the day is 20. Um, my guess is we'll gap down that full amount at the open, but uh, so we'll see uh, if we move continually lower after the open today. And I think we are, I think we're going to see some, some selling. Uh, so if we look at the one day and I know we only got like two minutes, uh, but you can see on ES here, just looking at the futures, um, definite top out signal here on uh, the 16th, and then yesterday on the 17th, uh, I'm sorry, 16th was here. So definitely topped out uh, Monday uh, on the futures end of things. Sold off yesterday. We're going to continue to sell off today. Uh, so um, maybe a little topping action. We'll look, be looking for some support. First uh, line of support somewhere in this uh in this range, but uh, we'll we'll keep an eye on things. You know, are we going to hell in a handbasket? Don't think so. But uh, there's our our support level here. Just our first line of defense. We'll have lots of them uh, as we go through. So that's on futures. Taking a quick look at SPX as well. Uh, same thing is going to apply. So that same high. right in here. Uh, so this previous high here may provide some support. We'll see. Uh, if not, we have all of these support levels you can see stacked into here. And we're off and running uh, on the morning. So S&P gapping down, opening up 39.08. So 39.08 is where we opened. And uh, gapping down, we'll see how things go. But we will look to get something on uh, IV really, really small uh, here. So are we going to uh, we're going to bounce, or, you know, or and uh, and take higher on the day? Don't know. Um, I think we could sell, especially if we bounce early in the day. We could slowly sell off. But I like the fact that S and P. Ended the day yesterday down pretty low. Uh, we'll have to wait until things shake out a bit, but that would give us potentially a chance to move higher. Uh, I'm going to look to sell the 3910s. Uh, we're going to go 50 wides. Um, it's not a lot. We're looking at about 1960 or so. And uh, we're going to get filled pretty quickly, uh, maybe too quickly. We'll see what happens. I got filled at 1980 
on my iron fly. So the 3860, 3910, 3960, and we got filled at 1980 on that. I quickly put it in opposite order of from the 1980. That would put us at 1830. Okay, we'll get it posted here for you guys. I'm in. I think we could head lower, so we'll keep an eye on things this morning. We don't have a lot of room. On our fly. Uh, all right, so fly was entered um, at 39.10. And we did it at 1980, so roughly 20 points. So it's pretty easy at 39.30 is our break even. And at 3890 uh, is our break even. Let's see if 3900 can at least hold uh, on the day. Uh, so we're right around where we open. Uh, let's keep it there um, on things. And we'll take a look at where we might uh, be able to get in on some put spreads. I gotta add some things to my chart. Okay, so if we wanted to put on a call, um, probably looking somewhere around 39.45. And a put, we somewhere around 39.35. All right, so we have calls and puts working. I'm going to guess we're going to get filled on the put quicker. Uh, and we looked at the, yeah, we did. So the puts are filled quickly, which is what I anticipated on some selling here today. 38.35, And we got that for 70 cents. I'll drop the put spreads in here on this morning selling. Okay. Um, and with the selling, it's going to be hard to get these calls filled. I tried to get the calls filled first, didn't fill. Might have to chase a bit. So we'll, uh, we'll let things sit for a minute or two. Uh, now we're going to get filled. Don't really love the call spread, but I'll be fine. Let's see. So we did the 39, 39.45, 39.95. And didn't get a lot for it um, on this morning's selling. All right, so those are on. We'll let these things uh, percolate a bit. And the one thing we're going to definitely watch is with the selling, although we've kind of reversed things a bit here, puts are on, calls are on, fly is on. Uh, so lots of stuff on our UVXY. We bought some calls yesterday. Those are looking good. I own some puts, spy puts. Those are also looking good. Keeping my delta, I've got negative deltas. So um, overall, things look pretty good. Um,
All right. So just keeping an eye on on where things are uh, right now. I don't know why the uh, the Amazon bear trap is in good shape, although Tastyworks is mucking it up completely. So it looks like a big down, but it's actually up. So <laughs> uh, it'll square itself away. Tastyworks just always having some kind of issue on Tastyworks. All right, so the bear trap on Amazon uh, still looks good, even though, again, Tastyworks is showing nasty looking return. The Tesla one should be down and it's showing up. So very weird. Um, don't know. Yeah, don't know what's going on with, uh, with that on, t on Tesla either. So it should be down and Tastyworks shows it's up. Amazon should be up and Tastyworks shows it's down. So, uh, but they're fine. Uh, I'm sure at some point they may resolve themselves and uh, we'll see how it goes. So we're taking another little leg down now this morning. So we're taking a turn lower. Um, S&P down 3,900 now. So we're gonna see if this thing is bottomless or if, if 3,900 can hold uh, as, as a level uh, down here. And we'll give it a little bit of time this morning, keeping an eye on things. We're still in the first 15 minutes, not much stock. Can I put in anything that's going on here? Uh, we just need to see if we can 3,900 hold our hold us for a bit. If not, it is what it is. We'll we'll uh, we'll do what we have to do uh, on these. Uh, but everything else is pretty red. So across the board, everything we have, with the exception of UVXY, is pretty solid in the red today. SPX is down. Uh, down decently today. Um, let's see. All right, I gotta change some of my settings. Uh, see if the, you know, so we hit pretty close to the right at 3,900, seemed to come off it a little, but is that just a premature bounce? And then we turn lower again, we'll Keep an eye on. So let's we'll just keep it here. We'll keep watching SPX for a few minutes uh, as everybody gets in. Then we'll take a look at some stocks uh, as we go. Thought I'd change that, but uh, it doesn't seem to be showing what I asked for. So I tried to put percent change in here. And it doesn't want to give it to us. All right, so we'll keep an eye on on where we go. We're still at uh, at lows, but we're at 3907, which is right around where we opened. We've been down further. We bounced off. 3,900, we still may retest that at some point. Let's see if we can just uh, churn sideways for a bit on, on everything. And uh, like I said, my Tasty Works has prices all over the place uh, for things I do not think that uh, anything is accurate on Tasty Works. All right. Uh, Yes, man. Let's see. You did the thirty-nine ten. You went sixty wings, uh, and then the thirty-nine forty-five. 
3995, you got a little bit more than I did for that. Uh, you got a lot more than I did for that. And I only got 55 cents. You got 90 cents on that, on the call side. So fantastic. Good for you. You got a lot higher. Um, man, S man, you got a lot higher on these spreads than I did. So whatever you did, good job. Uh, obviously, your puts are a little higher than mine, but your calls are the same as mine, and you get almost double the double the uh, the amount. So still bouncing off of the lows. We're at thirty nine eleven, climbing right now. So it looks like the fifteen is trying to make a uh, move. We're still relatively flat where we opened thirty nine twelve. Um, on this one, let's uh, see where we go on the day. I have no idea what to expect uh, on the day today. Still can't get Tasty Works to show or Tasty, yeah, Think or Swim to show the right info on my charts. Net change I want. I don't really care as much about the bid ask. Mostly about the net change is what I want. So SPX 39.14. So definitely coming off the lows of the morning session. Uh, 39.13. It's down about a half a point. NASDAQ down uh, three quarters of a point. RUT is down. We haven't looked at Russell in a while. I wonder if it's almost time. Uh, for a tiered rut butterfly. Um, you know, if we're going to sell off a little bit here, this might be a good opportunity day to take a look at that. Um, all right, so we'll, we'll jump off of this thing. We can see that we're two minutes away. We'll give it to the, to the two minute mark and we'll see where we are. Uh, we're basically flat on the morning uh, so far. Um, I'm just checking something out here briefly with me. So bear bear with me as I look at a trade that I made. No, okay, did it right. Uh, still getting a really weird reading from Tastyworks on the bear traps. Both of them seem wrong uh, to me. It looks like Tesla's is now fixed. Uh, no, well, yes and no. So hard to say. Uh, what they're doing, but things are starting to correct themselves. Um, uh, a bit. So yeah, did the call spread first thing of the day. So yeah, good. Uh, so you're you're in good shape on your calls. Uh, yeah, I'm okay as well. Uh, we'll we'll stick it where it is. I'm not expecting a gigantic update, but you never know. I, as soon as I say that, we'll probably turn and run up thirty points. Uh, but the 15 minute, which is about to give us our first um, print of the morning after this, our second print of the morning. Uh, there we go. So we're on the second print. Uh, now, uh, selling is still solid. Uh, and we're pretty much within that first range, although maybe hitting to the top of the range and still pointing down a bit. So. Good. We'll let it sit, and that can only really be good for us if we can just sit in here and not make a big move either way. So let's jump out of the five minute, which we can watch over on the side here. We'll keep an eye. Um, we'll keep an eye on these. We'll look for any kind of a particular reversal uh, or something. Here's the SPX. Uh, I was just uh, drawing around a little bit, I think, when you guys jumped in. Uh, you know, a little bit of a top here um, back on the 16th. And then uh, yesterday uh, sold off. And I think we have some support down in here. Would be, I would actually love it if we came back to 3860. So 3860 is about another 50 points away from here. Um, 50, 55 points. Uh, I would be totally fine with a 55 point drop from here. 
Um, so if this thing could drop 55 points, come down in here, retest this 21, and then start to make another move higher, um, that would I'd be ideal. Uh, we'll see what happens. You're getting a little bit of a cross on the five minute positive cross. You've got S&P moving higher on the day. Uh, the 15 looks like it's just kind of flat right now, maybe wants to make the move. Uh, was this a uh, quick sell off uh, you know, too much? So now we'll start to watch the, the upper half of things. So SPX is at 39.17. So we're up about uh, 10 points so far, eight points on the morning. All right, let's uh, let's take a quick look at RUT because I want to take a look at where we are. I haven't looked at it a while. You can see I really haven't adjusted to the new highs. So here's RUT. If this is a nice pullback, if we can continue to get uh, some more of this pullback on RUT, uh, this might be a good opportunity because I think these this is still going to do well. You've got support right back in here. So here's the previous pivot high. We'll draw this thing out. Uh, so there's a support line right there. That's also where the 21 EMA is. Uh, would be fantastic to see something in this neighborhood. Uh, but I think, uh, and Igor, this is for you, but I think it might be time for uh, a, a rut tiered broken wing butterfly. And yeah, F man, rut sucks. Um, so you heard it here. Got the t-shirt to prove it, uh, but I think it might be a good opportunity here because I think we still may have some more, looks like everything's weakening. So we could have some more pullback, which would be good, and then maybe a reverse higher, which would also be good uh, on this uh, tiered butterfly. So might be an opportunity for RUT uh, uh, here at some point. All right, uh, S&P continues to just push back higher uh, right now, uh, we'll see if it continues. Ticks have gone positive. Advanced decliners are still negative, but they were 350 negative. Now we're you know less than a 200 negative. So definitely reversing there. Take a look at a few uh, few charts as we work through the morning. Uh, so a few charts here. You've got Apple gapping down nicely, and about a one and a half percent move. Um, so you've got this that's uh, dropped down here. Taking a look at Apple, you've got a nice little downtrend heading going down here. So we'll keep an eye on Apple for the time being. Uh, but you've got a downtrend popping down. You had some support levels. This might give you a support level right in here somewhere, which I think we've hit a handful of times. Uh, so this was a previous high. We bounced off it. We came back down. We fussed around with it here. A lot of noise around that line. Broke it, but then rallied back up two days later. Came back down, nearly tested it. Uh, this is a good support level on Apple. Uh, here's your longer term uh, support line for me now that I'm watching on Apple. And look at this. So you've got this uptrend line that dates back. And we're still pushing higher on S&P. Um, so you've got this trend line that's dating back quite a ways here. So well over six months. Uh, back, you've been in this channel for the most part, and now you've gapped down to nearly support and the uptrend line. Uh, you might be hitting lows. So we'll give Apple another day or so. Um, but I think Apple is, there's some opportunities here to, to put on some put spreads or give it another day or two and see if we can uh, move higher. Um, S&P continues to move higher. We're up to 29.30 now, so we're well off the lows of the morning. We're going to push our call spread a bit uh, in here. It's uh, also not bad for our butterfly is so far away. Um, I might close it just to free up um, a little bit. Um, it's showing me some credit, which doesn't seem believable. 
um, on the 2D to E butterfly for tomorrow. Uh, but it's already at basically a $4 debit, and we put that 2DTE on in here. S&P is still climbing. Uh, that we put it on for 60 cents. We might be able to get out of it for a five cent debit and get out a full day early, and why not? So if we can get out for a small a five cent debit on it, uh, I think I actually may just do that. Um, so we'll put an order in to get out. Uh, man, do I really care about five cents in, in one more day? Um, not really. Uh, so I'm okay with it. Um, I'll I'll I'll, you know, I'll pay five cents to close it, free up the margin. Uh, we've got. Uh, and then we can look to put on another one on this rise here. I think this is a good time to look to put on a, another call butterfly for Friday. So I'm going to try to close this one out, free up some margin, and put on another one for Friday um, on this up move. The 15 is now crossing and looking positive. We've got a few more minutes on it, but the 15 is now starting to look positive. The 5 has definitely been pointing up. You've got a short day trade signal here, though. Um, so this is a move above the 15-minute, and now you've got a consecutive higher green candle. This would mean potentially on the next candle, we would look to potentially go short. Um, so we could start to see some selling coming in um, on SPX. I could be completely 1,000% wrong. Uh, but this is a, a pretty good little day trade signal. Let's give it a few, two more minutes, and we'll see what happens on the next candle. Uh, but the next candle is where you might look, I'm not going to, but would be a day trade shortish signal. Um, all right, so lots of things working. Uh, Tesla is looking fantastic. Amazon trade still way out of whack, uh, but it's it's positive. Uh, so our Amazon bear trap, Tesla bear traps, those are positive uh, right now. So, all right, we were touching base on Apple. I probably got sidetracked a bit, but I like Apple in here. Uh, maybe, I don't think there's a problem making the move now, but if we start any kind of a sell-off, um, I may want to wait a day or two to get some confirmation that we start to tick up. So this is what I want to see is this right in here where, yeah, I missed – you know, this is where we are potentially right now, where the next day was a pretty good gap, uh, was being telegraphed, uh, was not being telegraphed, I'm sorry, until that day. Then we saw the immediate turn up. So that's what we're looking for here is I'm looking for any of these indicators to start to point higher. Uh, so I think uh, Apple's close. Uh, Facebook, Facebook was a pick that I had this morning on the watch list. Uh, so I like Facebook. So it's meeting all my criteria. You've got RSI and Stochastics both pointing higher, both over 50. MACD over the halfway line. We're in a squeeze. Not all of our, you know, not everything is stacked. The 50 is below the 100, which is my only concern. Uh, but we're breaking and bouncing off the 21 EMAs. So because they're so tight in here, I think Facebook this is a really good support. Um, on Facebook in here. I think there's an opportunity to do something on Facebook. Uh, all right, so here's our neck, here's our signal. We are continuing to power higher. That's gonna be putting a lot of pressure on our, on our iron fly this morning. So that's continuing to power up as this thing moves higher. But technically this is a day trading short signal. Doesn't mean it works every single time, but I would potentially look to get Short on some SPY right now. Uh, doesn't mean it won't come back to bite me. And the 15 is still pointing up solidly, but um, this is where I would look to potentially put on a, uh, buy some SPY puts for a little intraday trade. Um, okay, so Facebook, I like it here. Looks good. Starting to enter a squeeze. I think it resolves to the upside. Um, so I think Facebook is solid. Um, if we were going to play that day trade real quick too, and let's play 
a little game of where's this thing going to move. Uh, if I bought right now the 392 put, I'd pay a dollar 31. Okay, uh, so let's uh, let's say I paid a dollar thirty one for. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, about a dollar thirty one is what I would have paid uh, for that for that put. Let's just see how it would have prepared today um, on this on the intraday day trade signal. Uh, even though the stochastic momentum is still pointing up, we still may have some upside uh, to go. A few more minutes, and we'll see how things go. And SPY is uh, eight points away from our break even now. Uh, so we're keeping an eye on. On that, we haven't had a loss in a while. So, you know, it's, we're due. And I, as I mentioned this morning, we had some wild swings or some big swings intra overnight. So 20, 30 point swing overnight. Uh, so we'll see if the expected move it's that we're up 11, 12 points off of uh, the open this morning already. Uh, so we'll see. We'll keep an eye on here. However, I'm sticking to my little day trade signal. Let's see how that, that put goes. All right, so Facebook I like. Amazon, now we're talking. Uh, so Amazon, we're starting to see a little bit of nice – uh, move here. So we've got the RSI and the stochastics both starting to point up today. We've got MACD starting to make its change today. We broke this little downtrend. You know, then we came back down. We bounced right off this support level, the, this support level here um, that we see. We're breaking back up through the 21 and hitting the 8 EMA today on Amazon. I love Amazon. Uh, you know, I know that's not shared by everybody in uh, Mr. Top Tick, and uh, I'm going to stick with it. Uh, Amazon is a beast. They are going to rule the world. Uh, they control everything. And once I think they have pharmacy uh, and everything else, at some point they could become the U.S. post office too, just doing all deliveries. I think uh, you've got tons and tons of opportunity in Amazon. I love it. It's the, uh, I think the one whiz, if you guys know from top, uh, oh, a top gun options. I love whiz. Good friend of mine, crazy Republican banana. He is, but uh, if you guys know whiz at all, he calls it the death star. So um, I like Amazon uh, and I like it here. It's a good move today uh, on Amazon and that's benefiting our bear trap. So good on Amazon. Uh, moving down, NVIDIA, it's just too far for me. Uh, Google, I like it here. So Google looks good, but it's a little toppy. Uh, so we may have seen the top of Google. We may not have. It's up today, or I'm sorry, it's, it's down today, but pretty close to flat. Um, so it's, uh, it's pretty close to flat in here. Uh, we're still getting this turnover in SPY a little bit here. Uh, and just for fun, our our 392 put that we bought is now a buck 50 from a buck 31. So we're up 20 cents. Okay, we're up 15. Uh, we're up 15 percent on that. So I'd probably close once I make a 10 percent gain, I'd be closing it. So. Uh, I haven't seen a closed signal yet, but I'd be taking half off already um, on that put. We've made um, we made twenty cents on a dollar thirty one already, and uh, that's fifteen percent. So we just made a fifteen percent gain on a day trade in spy uh, on that signal uh, in here. Uh, all right, so Google looks looks decent in here. It's positive on the day. Uh, I'm not saying it's not going to go a little bit higher, but it's getting really, it's above the, it's it's uh, on RSI, it's overbought. Stochastics is, you know, extraordinarily high. And you've had MACD starting to turn over for days now, and now the TTM squeeze turning over. And so I think uh, Google's probably going to run out of gas, might give you a last gas move um, or so, but I think, uh, I think Google may be getting tired. Uh, 
All right, Microsoft down, nothing I would do, and nothing's pointing up, doesn't look, there's nothing I want to do yet. Uh, same thing, Netflix, nothing pointing up. Uh, even though things are positive, uh, everything's weakening, not ready yet. Although it is getting close to the uh, 21 EMA, which I do like. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. CRM is one I do like here. Uh, so CRM, I like. It broke the downtrend. It came back a little bit this morning. I would. It's a little extended from the 21 EMA, but I think there's opportunity in CRM uh, to do something. I think uh, we'll wait for a pullback, and then we'll jump in. Uh, Adobe, just getting weak. Uh, AMD, uh, because of the gap down today, I'm not as bullish as I was going into it. I like to pull back to the 21. Um, however, we're dropping down. We do have AMD on. We have the 86 put expires Friday. So far, we're still in good shape um, on that thing. So AMD still looks still looks good uh, for us. Amazon, we've already covered. Uh, Tesla. All right, so Tesla. Here's our support level, which is also a FIB level. 777 is a solid level. It's support. It's also a FIB level. We broke it briefly this morning, hit the 50, bounced back up uh, above it. So uh, you're trying to stay above this support level on, on, uh, on Tesla, which is why I did the bear trade yesterday or the bear trap yesterday. Um, on on Tesla, I like the fact that the 770 was my calls, but more importantly, the put spread was the 710, which is a second support and another fib level. Uh, so if we can stay inside this area here, um, or if we stay above, either way, I like Tesla. Uh, so that's that's helpful. Just kind of moving, meandering around here on SPY. Uh, DocuSign starting to turn over. It's a little extended. Nothing for me yet. Uh, Teladoc, I think it's just got a little bit more pullback to go. Things are positive, but turning over. Nothing for me here. Peloton, I like it and I don't like it. Um, I like it because you've got solid support in here. You've got this uptrend line that we're approaching. Uh, so we're getting we're getting closer to this uptrend. We've also got this support level that dates back all the way to 1017. Uh, so it's a long time support level, which has been tested several times already uh, on this. So why is that important? Well, look where we are today. We retested it again today. Let me turn some of this noise off. You guys find this helpful, or am I just talking to myself? Um, so. Let me let me know if the, if me going through these things is helpful or, or a waste of time. Probably noise in your background while you're doing something constructive. Um, I don't like it, but I do like the setup in Peloton now. So I think we're getting close to being able to wheel something or buy something on Peloton. Uh, all right, Roku pullback, nice pullback to a previous high, which is support. Okay, so we got a previous high on Roku. Let's look at the drawing tools. Potential support right in here. Okay, so you have a previous support level, which we broke, we're trying to hang into, it's all good. We've got a nice uptrend going um, and we got earnings coming up, so I'm not touching it. Shop, nice pullback uh, in shop. Uh, it's not enough. We need more. So until we get a little bit more pullback, not ready. Alta too high for me. Home Depot, I mentioned, I think, earlier or uh, elsewhere that I like Home Depot. Again, in XLY, Home Depot, Tesla, and Amazon make up the major and McDonald's make up the majority of that. We have a... Uh, a poor man's covered call on that thing. So... We're okay for now. We've lost some on the law on the leap that has cost us a bit, but we've been making money on the short calls. So we'll wait and see how things rebound. But this is certainly helpful. And uh, keeping an eye on spy. So that 
day trade here, I would have closed already for a 15% profit, but if you are, would have still been in, you're still making good money um, on that, that SPY put that we had. Um, that SPY put was the 392, it's now a buck 63, so we're actually up 30 cents on a dollar 31. Okay, so we're a 23% gain so far on this day trade opportunity. Uh, we would have taken half off or whatever at the 10%. We would have left the runner on. We're going to leave the runner on until we get a second higher red candle. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. All right, Costco. Trying to hold support here. I like Costco. So you've got... RSI and MACD, while below my 50s, it looks like they may start to be turning up. And then MACD is also positive. So this is a really good sign on Costco. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's below, you know, the 50 and the 100 and the 50 is about to crash below the 100. You know, it's just all of this sideways movement here. Uh, but we could be looking at potentially a low in here. Uh, on it. So let's, let's see what happens. We'll keep an eye on Costco. All right. Walmart looks good, but you got earnings, so can't touch it. Uh, Target looks decent as well. So you've got squeeze firing. You've got MACD pretty flat, stochastics up, RSI above the line, bouncing off the 21. Target is a good looking stock here. Uh, I think we could do something in. Uh, Something in Target. Uh, Disney, don't like it. Everything's pointing down. Uh, for me, Boeing, like it. Uh, so we're, we've are we got all kinds of trades on Boeing. Uh, I'm still, Vicky did a great job pointing that poor man's covered call out the other day. I'm still in that. In fact, we've done a couple other trades on Boeing. It's in my IRAs. So I like it. Yeah, it's selling off a little today. All good. Um, so it's all, all good. Let's hopefully let us... Um, let us uh, get out of uh, yeah, and rewheel or re uh, resell another call on Boeing. We have an in-out trade on it, which is not looking so hot today on the pullback because I really thought yesterday might have been the start of something special. Squeeze still looking good. We're just a little weak. It's all good. Um, so we'll let it we'll let it roll. On that, all right, Visa. I sw I used to have Mastercard here, and I switched out Visa. Uh, with it. So I do like Visa. I think Stephanie Link was talking. I don't know if Stephanie Link or someone else was talking this morning. Maybe it wasn't Stephanie. I think it was somebody else. But uh, talking about Visa, that one thing with Visa is they've been doing totally fine. You look at their earnings here. Um, they blew out earnings already and nobody's eating out and going out as much as they should. They are still buying online and what have you. As soon as things start to open up, this thing's going to rock it. It's going to blast through this top. So I think Visa is an opportunity, especially right in here, to consider. I don't know that I would wheel it, but longer term, like a poor man's covered call, I think Visa has a lot of upside heading into the summer. Uh, as things start to open up, people are going to get out more. They're going to spend more money. There's a lot of cash, I think, sitting out there ready to rock and roll. Uh, so... Uh, I will uh, we'll keep an eye on that. All right, so there's Visa. I like it. I think it's a good poor man covered call candidate. Uh, Goldman Sachs, too high. Uh, Square, too high. Selling down, coming off its highs. Baba looks decent. Still, I think it has another upside, and the Bollinger Bands might start to open up here um, on Baba. So you could be looking at another spurt higher, and this might be an opportunity for uh, a trade. Now, it's too expensive for the wheel. I could in out it, or you could potentially go butterfly, uh, which is my progression. Uh, so yeah, SPX is definitely moving higher. So we sold off, we've reversed. Look at this you know, big giant spike up in here. So that's just can keep pressure on our iron fly. Uh, we've got about seven points to until we have to close. Uh, on the iron fly. So let's see, can we get here and start to tip over before we get to those seven points? Um, but the 15 is pointing up. So 15 minute shooting up, things looking strong here. 
Uh, it's going to be testing our uh, our call. And it's not going to test our calls, but it's going to put some pressure on them here for the day. So let's see if we can just chill out a bit and calm down uh, this this little run. Uh, and here, uh, Chipotle looks bad heading down. Uh, Zoom looks a little high. Uh, we're going to, uh, I'm going to hold off on Zoom until we get about a break back down. Cyber sold off hard, but this could potentially be an opportunity area soon. Not yet, but soon. Uh, McDonald's, I like it. It's one of the uh, the three course, four core stocks on the uh, XLY. And I think it looks good as well. Uh, in here. So I think McDonald's is a good play in here. A nice pullback again, closer to the 21 EMA. Uh, I think uh, this thing could be ready to to make another move higher at some point. Um, all right. So still watching SPX out of the corner of my eye. Uh, Lulu dropping. JPM shooting up. Financials are doing great. PayPal uh, pullback. It's a little extended. I need a, a pretty good pullback in PayPal. Snow doesn't look great. Everything's dropping on that. Oracle doesn't look good. Everything's dropping on that. Crowd looks okay. Uh, if we get a little bit more of a pullback, we may look to be able to get some long in this. Okta. I love the pullback in Okta today. So let's give it another day or two and we might be able to get something on in there. Coop, same thing. I like the pullback. Take a little break from this run, get to the 21, maybe move higher. Uh, so spot. Uh, Bavesh uh, mentioned this as well uh, on spot. So Spotify here pulling back off of this recent high uh, that we've had. It broke the uptrend channel. Uh, and now the concern for me is that uptrend channel okay, is now resistance. Uh, so you're in this channel, uptrend, 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 broke it, came back up, hit it, and now may fail at it. Uh, I mean, you've got squeezed looking like it's firing though. So I think we might be okay. And this might have, you know, everything's stacked and looks good to go. Um, but um, Igor, green by lunch, uh, which is perfect because it looks like you just tanked the market, which should help our IFs. So awesome, buddy. <laughs> so uh, I, I hope uh, I hope it just uh, dies down a little bit here, lets me get out, and then it can go green by lunch or do whatever the hell it wants to. But uh, Igor, kiss of death on the market. Five minute might be starting to curl over here, flattened out on the 15. Doesn't mean we're going down, but... Uh, uh, just having some fun with Igor, um, but awesome that he reversed it on us. Uh, so spot, it's a really tough one. Could be going higher, but you also could have resistance at this line, and you've also got resistance here. Uh, you've got an all-time high, but this spot in here has been a pretty good resistance level. So just keep an eye on it. Uh, I'm not saying don't trade it. If it breaks it, then I think this becomes support. Um, if it doesn't, then this thing really was resistance. So this line in here could probably extend it even back further. Let's take a look. So I could actually grab it and go back to here. So that, you know, actually it can go back to here. Uh, so this line has been a really solid um, line. Okay, so this is, is this has been a resistance line one day, then couldn't make it. Uh, so resistance, 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 and then we're right here at it again today. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, so I'm not sold on Spotify here, even though things look stacked on my indicators. If I didn't have support lines on here, I would be in. Uh, Domino's, dog doo doo. Uh, I don't even know why I track that thing. I hate this stock. Um, only trade it when the Super Bowl's coming. 
Uh, all right, uh, tr trade desk. Um, looking weak at earnings coming up. Chegg, big reversal today, no surprise. Hit all time highs back down here. Nothing, nothing yet on on Chegg. So plug, what are we doing? Uh, we're not in plug, so that was the old an old wheel trade. Can't even keep track of how many we have on. Okay, previous support. Extend the sucker out. Um, so look at this. So you had a previous high, had a gap. We filled the gap now. So the gap was filled yesterday, bouncing off this previous uh, support line. Uh, this is really weak stuff here, but this is a, this is when you get to these lows that a turn could potentially happen, and that could be the sign here. Uh, so plug, I think this is a good wheel opportunity in here. Could we continue to sell off? We can. I think we have support in here. Uh, I think we have some, some more support here. I don't know where I would technically draw FIB levels, but if we want to do them just off this recent run at all uh, in here, you've got the 50% FIB here uh, on it. So I don't know if, you know, anybody who's a, bigger fib aficionado than me, you know, would you go back to another low back here? Would you use this low? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if I use technically this low back here, uh, then this 38.2 is really close to this support here. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, I don't wanna move things around to make myself correct on something. But this looks like a really good solid support level. Um, here on plug. So I think plug's a good opportunity. Pins trying to hold on for dear life uh, here, really high levels. It could come back. I'm not jumping into pins. Fastly looks crappy. Um, so this thing's going down more. Uh, you know, at some point though, I think we're going to turn. Uh, so I'm not in. I don't want to buy on this thing yet, but let's see if it bases out. Palantir, loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So I love this stock. Uh, I I get earnings were uh, here. Actual was not as good as expected, and they paid some price for that. However, I think you're extended on the MAC D here, so you're you're at bottoms. RSI is already starting to make the tick up today. Stochastics could be making the tick up on the next day or two. I think we're in really good wheel territory on Palantir, so uh, so Palantir was one. I don't remember the other stock we said I really loved. Um, was it Plug? Yeah. Uh, so Plug, I really like, and Palantir, I really like. Um, here, I think this is an awesome area to, to own this thing uh, and start selling puts in the mid-20s, uh, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, on it. So Rocket, it's all good. Rocket came back. We own the 19.5. So we own this down here. It's all good. Um, so a lot, nice drop. Maybe we start the base out. I'm totally fine with Rocket. Uh, it's actually at three cents right now with two days to go. I'm going to put an order in to close at three. They'll want four. So I doubt that I'll get filled, but I'm going to see if I can close out Rocket. Um, in this area. Uh, SPX still at 39.19, fussing even with the Igor drop uh, here, it's still fighting to, to move higher. So another, you know, these ticks are massive. <laughs> so um, it, it's, it's just gonna keep fighting. So the five's pointing down, the 15's pointing up, overall our trend is up. We just need, one little drop from here and most likely we'd be in good shape. So if we could get a five point drop briefly, oh, there, maybe that's it. So if we can get a, uh, you know, another two points from here, we'll get out of our IF um, on any kind of a drop. 15 or five still pointing down, 15's flat. All right, so rocket, there's rocket. Oh, and there it is. So Igor, thank you, sir. Um, all right, so we got out. 
of our iron fly uh, here. Iron fly. Oh, no, that wasn't our iron fly. That was rocket. Um, so we got filled. Yeah, we got filled on our, our iron fly. 1830, buck 50 winner. All good. Let's post that thing. Our fifty winner. Okay, so it looks like we're all out of our iron flies, or at least most of us are out of our iron flies. Big drops lower. If you're still holding on to that spy put. Uh, that we did the day trade put on earlier that spy put will now be worth a buck 90 so we paid a buck 30 it's a buck 90 60 cents on a buck 30 we're now at a 46 percent day trade winner and we're not done um so this thing could continually be continued fall um, on it so we took our 10 percent may have taken half off letting the rest ride and now you've got the five minute pointing lower. We're not out yet uh, on it. It could come soon, but uh, we got a nice winner on a spy day trade if you're in that one. All right, let's finish up real quick. All right, Marvel. I, I loved Marvel pre-market. Um, it's still okay here, uh, but it's right at the 21. I, I'd like it, but not yet. Um, so ATVI, too high. All right, Rocket got filled on Rocket, so we're out. Okay, so let me post that one. Good, got three cents on Rocket. Everybody here, uh, eighty-three percent premium capture. We'll get out of rockets. Eighty-three percent premium capture. I'm not playing. I'm not waiting two more days to get three cents. So bought to close rockets. Put. All right, so we closed out Rocket. So another wheel trade winner. We'll add that to the winning column today. Also frees up some nice margin for us. Uh, all right, great. So we're out of Rocket. I like it. We may wheel that again for next week today. So we'll keep an eye on Rocket because um, I like the pullback. Uh, I like to pull back on rocket. So good day. So good trading days so far. Um, I don't know why I'm watching Toll Brothers either. Although it looks good, um, I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to stop following Toll. There's a reason for it. And that reason no longer exists. Uh, all right. So Zillow. Zillow is just rocketed higher. There's just no reason for me to trade something like that. Um, this looks ridiculous so when macd gets that high it's starting to turn and all of my indicators are now pointing lower uh get the hell out um, all right etsy same thing indicators all heading lower skyworks indicators all heading lower redfin i like it uh, so indicators are heading lower um i'm going to keep watching we've got some support coming up we're at the previous high didn't it broke through that here we did if we hold it maybe if not let's we'll watch and see where we can get to uh lemonade was one this morning that i was interested in not interested now uh, so you got some selling it's near the 21 i want to see some positive on the indicators here um, but lemonade could be one in the next couple of days uh t-mobile i'd like it here um, so i think we're at at lows on t-mobile 
and I think it could be starting to turn. Uh, so let's watch T-Mobile, but that could be an opportunity. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods, it's now sitting at this previous high, which I'll move this out of the way. All right, we only have a few more minutes, and then I'm going to jump off probably for the day. But yeah, let's take a look. So this previous high worked its way through here. Right there. So you got a previous high. You gapped up on it as well, bounced on it, bounced on it. See if we can hold, but you're near the 22.1 EMA here on this pullback. So we'll wait and see if things start to curve up. Space, don't like it. Uh, not at this point. Uh, although I do want to get in and we're down to the 21 EMA uh, on space. Uh, so we're at the 21 EMA uh, on here. There's really no support. Uh, the only thing you can probably draw on here is going to be some fib levels, just my high. Let's take a look at fibs. Now this one I will grab from here and we'll go to this high uh, on it. So you're you're right here at the 38.2, which is a decent level, uh, which is also where the 21 is. So I like the level we're at roughly right now. Uh, so this could be a, a good opportunity in space. I'd like to see something bottom out here. Uh, so we'll give it a day or two, but I like space. Uh, I love Chewy. Getting a little pullback, some weakness. If we can get close to the 21, I'm back in uh, on Shoei. Um, Bank of America, I like it. Financials, Bank of America, all look good. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on this. But everything's stacked, ready to roll. Potentially keep getting new highs. Uh, Datadog, don't like it. Uh, everything pointing was has been pointing to this thing selling off. So... Uh, there was no reason to get in data dog. Uh, BioLife, I liked it yesterday. I don't like it today as much. Uh, you still have squeeze firing. Things are starting to tip over. I'm not ready yet. Uh, DraftKings. Okay, so DraftKings, we have the 58 put. Uh, we're down close to it today. Uh, we still got a couple days. You know what? If we test it, what have you, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Um, I think this is also a support level, which is why I picked it. It's this previous high. It's also the 21 EMA. I like the 58 area on DraftKings. We're looking weak. I think we could sell off more. We could head down uh, into here. Uh, I'm going to look uh, to potentially wheel this out if we can't. Uh, it broke above this um, upper end of its range. And then came right back down in. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on it. I like DraftKings and I like the fact that it's pulling back. It's going to give us another opportunity to go. If we got to wheel it or what have you, I'm still good on this thing going higher. I think more states will approve the tax thing or the gambling thing. And this thing eventually keeps going to 100. So I like DraftKings. I'll keep playing that as long as I can. Penn Gaming, liking it here. Big, nice pullback close to the 21. There's some support right in here. So it hit a new high. Support. Boy, this is hard to draw. Okay, so support in here. So here's another support level, which it hit today, bounced off of 21. This could be a good level. We might start to get something here soon. So keep an eye on Penn Gaming. And then the other gaming stop uh, of Corsair. Uh, I do like this stock. We're just in it long enough that the 100-day simple is getting close. Uh, so let's give this thing a little bit of time. We're at the we're at the uptrend line on Corsair. So I think we could start to look to put some puts on in this thing. I'm going to give it. Uh, I'm going to give it another day or two. And if we close any others out, then maybe I'll look to get in on it. Twitter is just bananas. Um, I never trade it, and I don't know that this is tradable um, by me, uh, but I think we're now at a top. Uh, so I think this is way overextended, and I think it's going to drop. So I think Twitter's got some time uh, to come down. Neo, loving it. OK, 
Okay, so here we go. Neo, back to this support line. I think we have a good a deal of support in here. You got the 21, you got the support level, you got the 8, the 50 is moving up. So I think this 55 to 57 range as a really solid support level um, here. We've already filled the gap piece, so um, I like it. Some profit taking, it's all good. Um, we're in a squeeze, and I, I think Neo has a lot more upside than downside. Uh, so we're in the 53 down here. We're good, all good. Um, it's at 30 cents right now, not doing anything on neo workhorse was just way overdone it's finally getting its comeuppance and coming back i kind of want to see it get down into the closer to 30. Uh, we're hitting the 21 ema i'd like to see it come down to this area here i think 30 could be its resting place uh, we'll see lee motors um weak right now but at support um xpung pretty weak uh, this thing's heading down lower. It's going to be a good opportunity soon, but not yet. Ride is another one. So ride, we have, uh, I just have a long call on this thing, which is not doing well. Uh, so ride, not uh, not a great trade on that one. I may look to close it out. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it's early yet. Uh, Hillion Software, it's coming back to earth. Uh, we own the 16, or we sold the 16 put. It's still sitting up here um, on Hillion. Uh, that's all good. It's a nice winner. It's at five cents, um, which is not quite enough for me. Um, I needed to get down to closer to three cents, and then I'll close. Uh, SBE is a good one in here. Um, I haven't been watching if you guys posted anything. Uh, SBE, I like it. I think this is a really good level for SBE. So this has been, um, you know, a level of support for a while uh, in here. If we looked at drawing something out from here, uh, you know, dating back to about here, maybe even earlier, uh, you know, that's a pretty good support line. You could probably even extrapolate this thing back to here. Uh, so good support line in here. I like it. Even though Bollinger Bands are opening up a bit and we're below, uh, I'm not ready yet, but it's cooking and it's it's not ready, but it's getting close. And then Blink selling off. So you've got a lot of selling in the EV stuff uh, right now. A lot of profit taking. Market's going to drop. Those are going to be the first things people are going to bail out of because they've made so much money. ARC, like it. Uh, so I like the pullback. We're getting close to this 21 uh, we've got support in here on ARC. Okay, so there's a support line here on ARC. You got the 21. You've got this nice long term. Let's go six months. And we could probably draw something up in here. Looks pretty close to that. Uh, so there's our uptrend line. It's been hit a couple times here, a couple times here. Uh, Will we pull back to it again? Let's get to the three month. So this has been a good support line for it. So you got you got support here. I'm sorry, you got a trend line close here. You got the 21 EMA here. Uh, all good for ARC. Uh, I like the pullback. I, finally, we have a chance to maybe get in, do something on this. Uh, CRISPR just taking an absolute dump uh, on here, selling off. I like this stock a lot. Um, it's not done, as, but it's starting to turn. So you've got uh, potentially some opportunity here. I'm not showing it in my indicators yet that it's done. So not ready. But as soon as it starts to make its turn, uh, we'll keep an eye on CRISPR. I do like Starbucks in here. I'm not a Starbucks fan, but... Uh, it's looking a little weak, but the pullback's nice. Wind looks great, but it's a little overdone, hard to get in. Carnival Cruise Line's continuing to blast. I love it. I also like uh, Norwegian. I think I like Norwegian better. Um, squeeze is already fired, and this thing is already seven days into a squeeze. MACD higher, RSI is getting higher on Carnival. So I think Carnival might be getting point at, to a point where 
Uh, oh, that was a support level. Uh, I don't know where my previous highs are, but uh, you know, we've got a high back here uh, on Carnival. And if we look back a year, I mean, we were sitting way up here. I have to even go back further in the 50s. I think this thing's going back to 50. Uh, so I think Carnival's heading back to 50, and Norwegian is heading back to 50. Um, I Will they get there this year? Yeah, I think they'll be there by September. Uh, so I think we'll be back in the 50s for both of these. This is the time. You've got this one starting to fire. I really like Norwegian here. Uh, so I think Norwegian's something to, to want to hang on to as we rotate a little out of some of the EV stuff and into more of the travel stuff. I like uh, Norwegian. So that's another another good stock that I would be happy to own. The other travel stocks, love. It's getting a little weak, starting to sell off. I like it. Let's get a pull back to the 21 and get our opportunity. Norwegian is just breaking through the 21 and the 8, so it's early. Uh, Del, Delta, uh, same thing. It's already fired. I want to see some pullback. GameStop, just for fun. I just like to see this thing wallow in misery. Um, I don't know why. Uh, is it going to base out in here? Maybe. You might start to see a bottom. I don't think GameStop's a $50 stock anyway, but uh, Castle Biosciences uh, here looks weak. Overstock looks weak. Run looks weak. Sun Power uh, looks weak. Uh, heading into earnings, um, skills looks okay. Um, not yet for me. Opens door looks weak. FireEye broke support. This is a concern on FireEye. I liked it uh, this morning uh, when we looked at the longer. Uh, well, and as of yesterday, I liked it. Today, it's breaking support. It's still hitting the 50. I'm not ready yet. Um, we're not turning the corner on FireEye, so we're we're not in. We're almost done here, guys. First Solar is exhausting. Uh, First Solar, Solar is just having a nasty day, uh, a nasty couple days. Uh, so Solar selling off, um, not doing anything with that. Riot is just launched and gone. Can't chase that. Tilray. Uh, I think it's still overdone, but it came back close to the 21, which is very interesting here. Uh, so Tilray, I would probably look to potentially do like a really short-term, uh, a really short-term trade uh, on this. Uh, bear with me; I'm just looking at a couple things. Uh, I could, we could do, we could wheel something for Friday even on Tilray. If, you know, so the earnings are after the bow, so forget that. Um, Solo, we got out of, it's selling off a little bit more. That was my riskier stock. I'm out. Mara just keeps blasting away. Uh, Fubo uh, looks pretty good. Um, you've got the turn happening on Stochastics and RSI. MACD, not quite yet, but you're down to the, you're down Bouncing off, and yesterday hit, closed on it. Today bouncing off. Fubo, good here. I like it. Uh, you just, we've, it's been around long enough where the 200 day is just starting. Uh, I think you've got some opportunities in here. I don't really see a support level um, that means anything in, in here. I guess you could call this some support uh, in here. Um, but the 21, it's bouncing off to 21. I like it. Uh, I think this is an opportunity on Fubo to do something. So we're going to add that to the list uh, to watch today. Uh, Dropbox earnings coming up, so I can't touch it. So it doesn't even bother. UAL is another stock rocketed yesterday. A little pullback, but moving today. Uh, everything's pointing up. Squeeze breakout. Uh, I like UAL here. So UAL is also a really good looking stock. Okay, laser. Um, so laser, we have that on as a, uh, we bought a long call. So I have a long call on laser. Um, it's out quite a ways. Uh, 
I'm down a bit, but not bad. But I like laser here. I think this is a possible support area. You've really got it in a squeeze. Look at how long the squeeze has gone. The squeeze has been since mid-January. So two months of being in a squeeze for laser. Uh, if you had to guess which way you think this is going, um, I'm going to guess to the upside uh, based upon the fact that we're – all of our moving averages are ticking up and we're trying to hold the 21. Don't like the looks of some of the internals, but I like laser. Okay, two more. Tan, probably looking terrible. So tan, the solar stocks. I like the fact that they're selling off. Give us another chance. And then QS, we got out of that thing. Um, earnings, though, were good. Uh, so this thing actually... Uh, had did, you know, I guess decent earnings and it's moving up. So now came down, you had some support area in here. All right, and then broke it yesterday, you know, just leading up into earnings, moving higher. I think this is an opportunity um, on this one. You got squeeze firing. I think I wanna be long QS. Um, so we're going to get back into QS with another trade today. Earnings are over. Okay, so there's the long story short. That was long. Um, so hopefully you guys are still awake. Um, uh, and uh, you're with me. Look at the 15. You get the break back higher on the 15. The oh, I'm sorry, the five minutes starting to make its turn. You got the cross. 15's flat to slightly higher. So... Things look good on the day on SPX. We've already had an iron fly winner. Our put spread looks good. Our call spread looks good. Uh, we got a butterfly uh, that expires tomorrow. I did not get a new one on, which I really wanted to do. Uh, I'm going to hope that we get another chance uh, in here. I mean, it's not like we're at lows of the day. Uh, we're pretty much just off of the open. Uh, on it. If this thing moves higher, I want to sell another 2 DTE. SPX um, here on any kind of a bounce. I should have done it back here at 10 o'clock. Didn't do it. Um, and did Gabe put one on yet? No. Um, so uh, Gabe hasn't placed a 2DTE either. Um, we got some weakness. I kind of want to get this on just in case. Um, there's some weakness. Uh, so we may look at the potentially the 365, 370, 390. Right now we're getting 95 cents for that. It's only 50 points up uh, from where we are. Um, I want to watch and see if this gets higher, but that's what we're looking at on the 2DTE for me. Um, I'm going to do the old Gabe fly uh, for 2DTEs coming up. Uh, right now it looks good, so I'm, we may push it up a little bit higher. I just want to see if we can get this market to move uh, a bit higher. It's so flat right now. Uh, if it if we move at all higher, <coughs> excuse me, then we're getting in. Okay, that's it for me. I don't see any questions. Uh, I don't see anything in the in uh, going on here, so I'm going to jump out, take a break. Uh, be back uh, with you guys in in Slack. So, uh, okay, have a fantastic day, guys. We'll see everybody in Slack. And uh, so far, all good, all green. We're well, not all green, but um, close a couple good winners today. So we'll keep an eye on where we are. Um, I'm revising that 2 DTE to 39.75, 39.80 uh, for Friday. So let's see if we can get a move. It doesn't look like it. So I want to get this thing engaged and placed. Ah, now it's selling on us. Son of a gun. So, okay, we'll uh, talk to everybody later. Have a great day.